Hey there, I'm W1RCP Robbie. And if this has been enjoyable, please like the video. If you've learned something, please like the video. And at any rate, please subscribe to show your support for the channel. Alrighty, so now we're in the uh, section of more safety, 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 and we're going to play the How Many Rules Has Robbie Broken? Uh, which of the following is good practice when installing ground wires on a tower for lightning protection? So for question one, that is ensure that connections are short and direct. Short and direct out of those answer choices. What is required when climbing an antenna tower? The correct answer is D. All these choices are correct. A. Have training on safe tower climbing techniques. Now on a technicality, I'm going to say YouTube was my training. B. Use appropriate tie-off to tower at all times. Hmm. And C, always wear an approved climbing harness. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, that is one of these rules that I have not always followed. Now, have, do I follow them now? You betcha. Under what circumstances is it safe to climb a tower without a helper or observer? The answer is never. You don't want to lose your life. Now, have I broken this rule? You betcha. Will I do it again? No. It's nice to have a helper for lots of reasons. You might forget a tool. Drop your rope down from the uh, gin pole. Ha hoist that thing up. Uh, if you uh, need a reminder, if you need a reminder to do something that's safe, ground crew, they'll help you. Which of the following is an important safety precaution to observe when putting up an antenna tower? We're talking about the whole tower here. Look for and stay clear of any overhead electrical wires. I didn't break that rule. <laughs> you do not want to be anywhere near electrical wires. That's insta-death. What is the purpose of a safety wire through the turnbuckle used to tension guidelines? So a turnbuckle is, it turns in two different directions. And then when you get it set, there's a safety wire that goes through it. That keeps it from loosening of the turnbuckle from vibration. You don't want your guy wires to get loose. They keep your antenna somewhat straight. Uh, sorry, not your antenna. You can use them on an antenna. But your tower definitely keeps it straight. If you've got a 100-foot tower in your yard and you don't have the turnbuckles with the, um, the safety wire... You're asking for disaster. What is the minimum safe distance from a power line to allow when installing an antenna? That is enough so that if the antenna falls, no part of it can come closer than 10 feet to the power lines. Now, why did they choose 10 feet? Probably because of electrical arcs, they might be able to close a gap of smaller than 10 feet, depending on what kind of power line it is. I don't even want to be within 10 feet of it if the antenna falls, to be honest with you. That's the minimum safe distance. Which of the following is an important safety rule to remember when using a crank-up tower? This type of tower must not be climbed unless it is retracted or mechanical safety locking devices have been installed. I've recently done this. We retracted the tower and we put in some locking devices at the bottom. We put a bunch of metal rods at the bottom so that if it did slip, it wouldn't slip more than about an inch. You do not want to lose limbs on a retractable tower. It's, it, it, I won't get graphic with it. Which is a proper grounding method for a tower? The correct answer is separate. 8-foot ground rods for each tower leg bonded to the tower and each other. That is the only correct answer. So if you have Roan 25 tower, it has three legs, you're going to have three ground rods and three bondings to those legs, one to each leg. Question number nine. 
Why should you avoid attaching an antenna to a utility pole? The antenna could contact high voltage power lines. Don't do it. If you have one of those lamps outside your front yard, don't go up there and attach an antenna to it. There's 120 volts or more running to that. If you come in contact with an antenna, bzz, which of the following is true when installing grounding conductors used for lightning protection? Sharp bends must be avoided. You would think that electricity wouldn't mind, but electrical lightning, uh, <laughs> not electrical, but lightning strikes, the electrical portion of those spans anywhere from DC all the way up through several megahertz and maybe even gigahertz. And so sharp bends are going to cause an impedance problem you want it to be as direct as possible to the ground sharp bends must be avoided and the last question in this section which of the following establishes grounding requirements for an amateur radio tower or antenna and those are a, lo a local electrical codes so you want to follow, follow the rules for what is local this is Robbie, W1RCP. We want to keep you safe out there. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe in 73.